Hi guys, I'm in Singapore and today I'm gonna make a quick review of the hostel where I stayed in Singapore for a few days. So I didn't stay there. <laughs> I stayed in Bunk Hostel for a few days when I was in Singapore. This is how the exterior of the hostel looks like. Now let's go in. Upon entering, you will first see the lobby and the reception area where you will be checking in. Now let's go up. By the way, this hostel is located within the culturally rich area of Little India in Singapore. The location is perfect because it is right across the Jalan Bazaar MRT station and there is also a bus stop just across the street. Little India is a perfect location for shopping and dining. There are several food options just walking distance from the hostel. The building has 3 floors and 233 beds. My room is located on the second floor. To enter the room, you need to use the keycard provided upon check-in. I was assigned in an 11-bed mixed male and female dormitory. And this is what the room looks like. This is how a clean single bed look like. Next, this one is my bed. Now this one is a deluxe bed. It is twice the size of the single and it's able to accommodate two people spaciously. The room is air-conditioned and also has an electric fan. The rooms are cleaned daily around 1 p.m. after the guests have checked out. Each bunk bed is provided with duvet covers and plush pillows. Now let me show you the building amenities. This is where you can eat your food, have drinks, hang out, or whatever. You can wash and dry your clothes here using the coin-operated machines. They have free soap, you just have to follow the instructions on how to use the machines. And this is my favorite hot and cold water dispenser because the water is always cold here unlike the other machine on the first floor. This is the view and the small garden. And this is the recreational area where you can watch movies or party with your friends. There is also a flat iron provided that you can use for your clothes. This is the stairs going to the third and ground floor. Before we go down, let me show you how the shared toilet and shower rooms look like. This is the men's changing area. Like the rooms, it is clean daily and very neat. By the way, there is a hair dryer provided inside. This is the toilet.
and the shower area. Now let's go back down to the ground floor. This is a back door which you can only use to exit the building. Now this is the dining area where you will eat your free breakfast. There is a microwave, a hot and cold water dispenser, a coffee and soft drinks vending machine. For breakfast, they will provide butter, jams, bread, and they will also give you this cereal drink which I didn't care much for. Now my review of the hostel. I enjoyed my stay here in general, mostly because I met some other travelers who became my friends. Their rooms are kept clean, but that also depends on the other guests you are staying with. The bed itself is very comfortable, however, it would have been nicer if there was a privacy curtain in each bunk. The breakfast option is very limited, but you can have as much bread as you like. I even took some out with me for snacks. Overall, I would give this hostel 3 out of 5 stars. If you want to learn more about the hostel, just visit their website, bunkhostel.com. I would also be putting the link where I booked my stay on the description bar. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. You may also subscribe if you want to watch more hostel reviews, and I'll see you again on my next video. Bye!